Hi All Stars, we're so excited to return to the building on March 15th. Here are some processes and procedures. Before your child leaves home each morning, please make sure you have done the following things. Your child must wear a clean mask to school each day. Please ensure that it is your child's day to attend face-to-face -face instruction. If your child's in cohort A, they come to school on Monday and Tuesday, and if they are in cohort B, they come to school on Thursday and Friday. You must fill out the daily symptom screener via Qualtrics. This is available through your child's email each morning or on the CCS homepage. We will also put the QR code on our school story on Class Dojo for easy access. Your child must bring their computer and charger with them to school each day. Please remind your child each morning of the three W's, wear a mask, wait six feet apart, and wash their hands frequently. All right, good morning All Stars. We are going to go over our car rider morning duty. So we have a parent arriving to bring their child. You're gonna see that you're gonna pull all the way up to the next available staff member where there'll be two staff members. They will ask your child's name and then one of the staff members will check in our computer system to ensure that you filled out the daily screener check. And if so, the child will then get out of the car. We'll have another staff member who will take your child's temperature. And while your child's temperature is being taken, you must remain in place. If the child's temperature is good, then mom can have a great day. If not, the child will get back in the car. They'll receive their colored piece of paper and walk to the front door where Miss Taylor, our school counselor, will be to collect your child's colored card. And that is how you will drop your children off for school. Okay, so after you've dropped your child off, they'll turn in their colored card. They'll come through the front entrance. And as they come through the front entrance, we'll welcome them. Good morning, All-Star. And then as they go through the very front door, they will be a member of our cafeteria staff waiting to deliver your child's breakfast. They will simply pick up their breakfast and then proceed on to their classroom. Okay, so we are gonna go over what's gonna look like when you get to school on the bus. So the bus will simply drive up to this sidewalk on the side over by the cafeteria and then the student will get off the bus and then proceed to the staff members who will do the same thing that they're doing in the front. So we'll have one staff member who will check the child's temperature after ensuring that they have completed their Qualtrics. They'll check the temperature. It's a green, that means go, and the child will proceed into the building to go get their breakfast and head to class. All right, so once your child gets off the bus, if they are a bus rider, then they will come in the door at the end of the side of the building. They will walk, and you'll notice that if we have a line, we have blue dots for them to stand on to make sure that they are six feet apart as they're waiting for their breakfast. So they're gonna walk down the majority of this hallway, and then there will be another breakfast kiosk. They will just simply give their name, get their breakfast, and then head to class. Students will eat lunch in the classroom. Instructional assistants will pick up the lunch from the cafeteria and deliver it to them in their classroom. Students will remove their mask while they are eating lunch, but will stay six feet apart. Students will move from their classroom to the playground in a socially distanced line. Students will not use playground equipment during recess. Students will have to keep their mask on during recess. Students will visit the restroom one at a time. No more than two students will be allowed in the restroom at the same time. Students will sanitize their hands before exiting the classroom go to the restroom, wash their hands, and then sanitize again before coming back into the classroom. Okay, so this is the parent pickup. If you are gonna be picking your child up from school in the afternoon, you'll notice that we are down here by the rec center, so you will park in the rec center parking lot. You will walk up the sidewalk, and then this is Ms. Herring, one of our instructional coaches. She's gonna be standing here, and you will have a card with your child's number on it. You'll notice that that number says 101. That means that it's a first grade student. 
And as you present your card, Miss Herring is gonna type your number into our spreadsheet. And I'm gonna show you what happens in the building at the same time. So our students are gonna be scattered around in the six door rooms that are closest to this exit. And as Miss Herring puts your number into the spreadsheet, then your child who has the same number will notice that their number came up on the smart board. They will come to the door. They will notice that their number is the same. And then they will give the lanyard to the teacher and we will reuse this lanyard every day. You'll notice that the number is exactly the same as the number on the parent's card and then the child will be released to you. For the first day of school, the teachers will have dojoed you a picture of that card. You can either have the picture or the actual card, but you must have either the picture or the card to pick up your child. If you do not have the picture or the actual card, you will have to go around to the front of the office to retrieve your child through an ID check. Thank you so much for taking the time to review this video and its contents with your child before Monday, March 15th. And we look forward to seeing you in the building cohort A every Monday and Tuesday and cohort B every Thursday and Friday. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to your child's teacher or give Miss Owen or Miss Gray a call at 864-3442.